In ArcGIS Pro, Arcade Expressions are now supported in several distance-based business analyst trade area tools. This addition allows flexibility in building customized data-driven scenarios for just about any scenario you could think of. Let's walk through a few examples to learn more. First, we'll look at the Generate Trade Area Rings tool. When expressions are supported in a tool, you'll find the option in their input method parameter. Here you can select standard values or switch to expressions to build custom scripts. To illustrate this, on the map I have locations of local Wi-Fi hotspots in a city. I want to find the gaps in coverage in our downtown district. Locations along the main drag of Front Street currently offer nearly twice the range as those on nearby side streets. I can dynamically visualize these areas by adding an expression. In the fields list, I'll add the street field. When I build out the script with the helper functions found at the right, it says this. If a street is named West or East Front Street, the Wi-Fi location gets a 50 meter buffer, and for all other street locations, kindly create two buffers of 25 and 30 meters. After running the task and updating the symbology, you can see Front Street has the larger coverage areas shown in dark blue, and smaller buffers are elsewhere. This helps me understand where I might add new hotspots and what size is needed. This also illustrates how to build trade areas where different sites have different sets of rings. The 25 and 30 meter combinations, shown in yellow and orange, can help me understand what is covered in the approximate Wi-Fi range fluctuations. Next, let's look at the Generate Drive Times Trade Area tool. I can use an expression to control the size of a drive time based on a value in my data. In this example, I have urban and rural locations designated by a code in my attribute table. One for urban, two for rural. Since my customers travel farther in rural areas than in a city, I want to model what it looks like and compare the demographics. After validating the expression and running the task, you can see the two urban locations show a 3-minute drive time boundary, while the rural locations show a 10-minute drive time. Lastly, let's open Generate Threshold Rings to demonstrate how ranges can be used in expressions. Here I want to define the distance required to reach a specific number of people around a site. We'll use Esri's 2020 total population variable. The larger the business, the more people I can serve. I'm also interested to see what coverage is needed for businesses with less employees. To do that, I use my employee count field and build an expression that says, for any business with employees in the 100 to 300 range, please return an area that grows until 10,000 people are found. For all other smaller businesses, find an area containing 500 people. As you can see, the ring sizes will vary based on the surrounding demographics. The exciting part was being able to create logic to programmatically differentiate the input location types based on any attribute in my data. Thanks for watching.